Before we start this video, become a member of this channel and gain access to all my premium courses. First, go to paxel.com and search for subscribe. And as you can see, guys, we have several subscribe button. We can select a subscribe button and we can download that button for free. Now we are here in DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to drag the subscribe button onto this clip. And now we have to go to the fusion page. And in fusion page, we have to press shift space and search for key. Now we have to select this ultra key, add this. We can press shift, hold it and we can drag this in between these two nodes. Now I'm going to select this, drag this and we can select this green color. And now if I play this as you can see guys, now we have the subscribe button. And now if I play this video as you can see guys, now we have this beautiful subscribe button. And if you want to use this subscribe button in your future project with a transparent background, I have a tip for you. First of all, delete this clip and now we have to go to the deliver page. Now we are here in deliver page. First of all, we have to select this custom export and we have to check this individual clip, right? And now guys, we have to change the code act to DNXHR and we have to select a resolution. So I'm going to select this one. Now we have to check another option, which is export alpha. So we can check this export alpha, right? And now we can add this and we can export this. Now we export this clip, right? Now I'm going to go to the edit page. I'm going to select this and press backspace to delete this. Now guys, I'm going to drag that exported button. And now as you can see guys, we don't have any green screen. Now we can place a video below this track. And as you can see guys, now we have this beautiful button. Now if you want to use this, the easy way is we have to click here and we have to show power bean and in power bean guys, click master. We can select this and drag this in our power bean. So now we can drag this. And drop this in our timeline we can use this in our future products so you have to go to the power bean master and as you can see guys you can save your custom element right here and you can use that in your projects so this is how we can add subscriber button in DaVinci Resolve 